The Wilkesland gravity anomaly is seldom spoken about in the ufology community. However, sitting deep under an ice shelf of this isolated part of Antarctica lies one of the greatest mysteries on Earth. This is known as the Wilkesland gravity anomaly. In March of 2002, the Rakat launch vehicle blasted off launching the Plezek spaceport. While in orbit, it launches its payload, which consists of two satellites known as the GRACE twin satellites. The purpose of the GRACE satellites was to monitor the overall gravity of the Earth. Specifically, it was used to find what are called gravity anomalies or locations on the Earth where the gravity is actually different from the rest of the planet. Many people believe that the gravity field around Earth is all the same. It's all even, but this is actually not true. The Earth is shrouded in varying land masses of varying sizes, and this has a distinct effect on how gravity works. The larger the land mass, the more mass that it has, and the stronger the gravitational pull it will have on the satellites above. Certain tools, like the GRACE satellites, have a number of applications for studying these gravitational anomalies, whether it be for locating volcanoes or potential earthquake areas, and even for finding oil. However, during one of the flybys over Antarctica, the GRACE satellite noticed a very strange gravitational anomaly. In a virtually barren, blank spot of the icy continent, where there are absolutely no surface features or anything out of the ordinary, a gravitational spike was detected where the gravity was found to reach 300 miles up into space and pull down on these satellites much harder than any of the other areas around the continent, which then posed a very mysterious question for scientists. What could be buried deep underneath this ice shelf that had such a mass to it that it would have the gravitational force that was detected by the GRACE satellites? A geophysicist from The Ohio State University by the name of Ralph Von Fries was part of the team who actually made this startling discovery. Using various pieces of radar equipment, they revealed a 320 kilometer wide plug of dense mantle material, more than 1.6 kilometers beneath Wilkesland. This mass concentration, or mascon, can be caused by an upswelling of denser material from the Earth's mantle after a massive impact. So this was their first clue, that this very well could be a massive impact crater of some sort. Ralph von Fries is quoted as saying, If I saw this mask on signal on the moon, I'd expect to see a crater around it. When they looked at the airborne radar images of the area, they found what they say looks like a crater, a circular ridge some 500 kilometers wide running around the mask on. It could be the biggest impact crater found on Earth. The region of dense rock is certainly circular. But other researchers say that this thick mass could have been caused by volcanic magma that had swelled up from the deep creating this mass. However, it should be noted that this specific area of the mantle is actually much thinner than the outside surrounding areas of the continent, which quickly dispels any theory of volcanic activity being the cause. Aside from identifying this 300 kilometer wide mass buried deep underneath the ice, they also found that this object was actually inside of a much larger ring-like structure, visible in radar images of the land surface beneath the Antarctic ice cap. So if this were to be an impact crater, whatever caused it is still sitting dead center of it. To this day, scientists unfortunately have no idea or way to discover what exactly is buried deep under this thick ice shelf. Using the current tools and satellites at their disposal, they can only note that whatever is buried there is so large that the gravitational pull on the gray satellites was like nothing they had ever seen before, especially from a continent like Antarctica. This continent has been shrouded in a mystery of its own for years now. Conspiracies range from secret Nazi bases that were allegedly built there during the Second World War, with some evidence of this coming to light in recent years purporting to show various entrances built into the side of mountains that hold a saucer shape. 
and are not to mention at a very high altitude, which begs the question, how exactly would you enter these entrances without something that could fly and that was the same shape as the entrance itself? After the Soviet collapse in 1991, the KGB released previously classified documents that shed light on the infamous Operation High Jump, which revealed that the United States Navy sent numerous expeditions to Antarctica for mysterious purposes. Operation High Jump, officially titled the United States Navy Antarctic Developments Program, was a United States Navy operation back in the 1940s organized by Rear Admiral Richard E. Byrd. The operation commenced on August 26, 1946 and ended in late February 1947. The task force contained over 4,000 men, 13 ships, and 33 aircraft. Even though the public reason for the operation was to, quote, establish the Antarctic research base, Little America, many believe its true purpose was to investigate an entrance found toward the center of the continent that may have led to an inner Earth. Much of this information has come from Mr. Byrd himself, with tales of having his Navy fleet attacked by saucer-shaped craft that burst out of the icy oceans, nearly destroying his entire fleet before finally escaping. Admiral Byrd was later quoted as saying that our primary threat here on Earth isn't the Russians, but from something located down near the South Pole that have the capability of attacking North and South America at will and with very little warning. Some have theorized that the lost continent of Atlantis may be hidden under the thick icy shelves of the continent. Whatever your theory is, one thing we know for sure is that Antarctica has long been an enigma of the research community and will continue to be for the foreseeable future. And what exactly is buried deep below the surface of Wilkesland? Unfortunately, we may never know. For more information, be sure to share and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you guys for stopping by, and we'll see you back here very soon. Stay safe, guys. Thank you.